I mean, no thought for me and my reputation, the fact that I've got to be on television tomorrow morning. Two fantastic outfits and no one to wear them. Selfish peasants. Oh, I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother. Can I come in? I know what you want and the answer's no. How can you know what I want? Oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. But I thought you'd come up here to persuade me to be a fashion victim for you. But perhaps you'd come up for a little chat, hmm? Nice, cosy, little personal little chat with me. Don't shut that door. Don't you like my room? Well, it's what I expected, you know, a little patterned cell. <laughs> Curtains, yeah. Would you mind dragging your old carcass out of here now? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I pretend to hate you and you pretend to hate me. And... I do hate you. Why? Because you're a despicable person who's resented me since the day I was born. Before. So why should I ever do a favour for you? I'll pay you. No. I'm your mother's best friend. Best friend? What kind of friend are you? What kind of daughter are you? At least she has fun with me. I care about her. Care about her? You may dress like a Christian, but the similarity ends there. <laughs> you know, I think you do it on purpose. How long does it take you to get the crease so crisp down the front of your jeans, you torturer? Get out. <laughs> for you. <laughs> I picked those. Mm, they're lovely. <laughs> oh, look, I understand. You don't understand anything. Get out. At least your mother wanted you. Oh, look, if this is going to be one of your terrible sob stories, make it quick. I can hardly hold back the tears. Go on, tell me about your tragic childhood, about these parents of yours that we never hear anything from, who you've probably had committed to an old people's home so they don't discover how old you are. <laughs> They're dead. Smirk your way out of that one, babe. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I never knew my father. My mother only knew him fairly briefly. <laughs> she had me when she was in her forties. I nursed her through her last years. It sort of put a bit of a stopper on me finding someone for myself and settling down, but there you are. Anyway, it wasn't her fault. She didn't want a child. She'd have got rid of me, but she mistook being pregnant for the menopause. <laughs> when she found out, it was too late. Patsy, that's awful. It was having Eddie and your grandmother that made it okay. You know, it gave me somewhere to go. My mother didn't like me having her around the house. She said I, I cramped her style, made her feel old. 